All right, guys, we're back. Tony is back again, year after year, supporting what we're doing here with Field Peace. And he's also speaking, he's training, he's helping technicians right where they're at. And uh, so um, just tell us, why, why do you keep coming back? Why do you keep having stuff to share? Seems like you're kind of enjoying this a little bit. Is it me? Is it you the know, cement? You know, that's a question I ask myself every year. Okay. Why do I keep coming back to this thing? <laughs> Uh, but in all honesty, this is probably the funnest, whatever you want to call it, conference, yeah. symposium, yeah. Uh, you know, that I go to and it's just really great people. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's really fun. Sweet, sweet. So uh, um, what did, just give me, give me a couple uh, highlighted points from your talk, from your, uh, from the class that you gave already. Absolutely. Yesterday I gave a class on um, leveraging wireless technology okay. to make troubleshooting easier, faster, and better. Okay. And some of the things that, actually, I want to preface this, because if I don't, I'm going to have a bunch of people in my mentions that technology is not meant to replace knowledge. Okay. It is extremely important that HVAC technicians learn the principles and theories of how pressures and temperatures work mm -hmm. and how to perform calculations and just understand all those things. However, once we've laid that foundation, yeah. then we can use technology to empower that knowledge. Yeah. So, so using that knowledge, but faster and more accurately. Yeah. So if you just think about it, you know, we started with analog gauges, analog tools, mm -hmm. and they serve the industry great for decades, mm -hmm. right? But now as equipment is coming with tighter tolerances, mm -hmm. uh, test equipment has to be able to keep up with that. You got and things so, like mini split or micro yeah. coils, like you have to be right on point with. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so that brought in the age of digital tools, yeah. you know, like digital manifolds, digital psychrometers, meters with screens on them. Yeah. And so the advantages we got from that was we got more accurate readings, right? Yeah. We got higher resolutions um, and that just cut out some of the time that we used on, you know, performing math by hand, calculations, sure. things like that. What digital by itself did not solve that analog also had an issue is that you're still taking measure, measurements serially. Mm. You, you are taking pressures and temperatures at the outdoor unit. Yeah. And then you have to go inside yeah. and take some temperatures. And then you have to go here and then you have to go there. Yeah. That's where the advent of wireless comes in. So wireless brings all the benefits of the higher accuracy in measurements and calculations that digital brought but now we can perform those measurements at the same time. Yeah. So it's less people you need to have on the job site and you can get a more accurate diagnosis of the system because you're looking at everything at the same time. Airflow, refrigerant side, E, electrical components. Mm -hmm. So it's taking that base knowledge of the theory and just allowing us to maximize what we do know and troubleshoot a system more accurately and faster than we ever could. And it, it, exactly what you're saying. I use it for training too. Like I'm inside of the inside unit. I pull out your phone, look at the pressures, look what happens when I unhook the blower and just watch your suction pressure tank, watch your suction temperature line tank. So yeah, even, even just for the convenience of training and stuff sometimes like, yeah. So, all right. So what are these tools then that you're talking about that have this ability? Show me what you got. All right. So, you know, our uh, tried and true job link tools, yep. which are our wireless pressure probes, pipe clamp, digital psychrometers to measure your delta T, you know, your, yep. your temperatures at the return and supply. You would use your pressure probes and pipe clamp just like you would a manifold. So you're measuring suction line, liquid line pressure temperatures, calculate superheat subcooling. Uh, also for the airflow side, you have uh, digital wireless manometers yeah. that are great for measuring static pressures. Uh, inside the duct work, so you These can. Are so handy. Yeah. Uh, they're amazing. Yeah. Super handy, and you know, other of the benefits of technology going wireless is you get to untether yourself from really long tubes yeah. on on your regular manometer, where you have six foot tubes going out each yeah. side. Um, yeah. These are more versatile, yeah. and so you can install them exactly where they need to go, and they're just much more easier to handle, right? Another pro tip when it comes to separating. A dual port is you have an independent pressure sensor for your P1 mm -hmm. and an independent pressure sensor for your P2, meaning you not only get total external static pressure when you add those up, mm -hmm. but now you know what is the pressure on the supply side versus the pressure on the return side. So if you do have a high static, you 
you not only know that, but now you know you which side of the total. system. You know which side is worse. Yeah. You know which side has the problem, so and it saves also, time in the field. If you're having them both hooked up, you can watch it in live time. Yep. So you see it come on, or you see it shut off, or you see it when you're changing modes from high stage to low stage, which side is really re responding to those airflow changes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, you know, we're talking about those tighter tolerances mm -hmm. on this on this newer equipment. You know, there's some equipment to where they say, you know, you charge the Super E to 8.3, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and it's like, how are you going to get a 0.3 if, if you're not using some type of digital gauge? Yeah. But what's not commonly thought about is, well, in order to achieve that accuracy of a superheat or a subcooling, what I'm inputting has to be super accurate. Yeah. My, my pressure reading and my temperature. So one of the things that, you know, that really make the Joblink wireless pipe clamp really, really great is our patented sensor technology mm -hmm. that's called rapid rail. Mm -hmm. And so unlike your traditional plate on a K-type thermocouple yeah. that goes onto the pipe and can be influenced by sunlight, by moisture on yeah. the pipe to throw off the accuracy of your temperature reading, Rapid Rail actually uses the conductivity of the copper pipe to become part of the temperature sensor. Yeah. So you get an accurate temperature within plus or minus one degree yeah. in about one to two seconds. Yeah. There's no stabilization time. It, it just so instantly gets there. And what's great is I'm you get- I'm so spoiled because now that I've had it for a couple of years, yeah. and I try to use any other temperature thing and I'm sitting there, I'm like watching it adjust and I'm like, Wow, I am so spoiled. This has been amazing. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. And the other benefit of this type of technology is with your traditional pipe clamp, mm -hmm. you really have to put it on a flat end right. of the pipe because you want to have as much of the pipe touching that metal plate. Yeah. Whereas with rapid rail, you aren't limited to that. All you need is a single point of contact anywhere on this strip and this strip, meaning you can put it on an elbow if you had to, yeah. um, and you still get just the same accurate reading as you would on a flat yeah. um, run of pipe. Yeah. So I love it. So true. Uh, what else? Uh, anything new coming out? Anything new you're displaying here that wasn't here last year or anything new that Fieldpiece is doing you want to talk about? So we introduced two versions of our combustion analyzer. Yeah. Um, they are both designed to uh, lower, the over lower the overall cost of ownership okay. of having a combustion analyzer yeah. and maximizing the uptime of your combustion analyzer. So what does that mean, right? Well, we know in combustion analyzers, they typically have some type of oxygen sensor mm -hmm. and a carbon monoxide sensor. And we know that those sensors degrade over time just yeah. by simply being exposed to the oxygen yeah. in the air. Now, in the past, what we've seen is whether you're using a combustion, whether you're using your tool or not, it doesn't pause that degradation on those sensors. Okay. So we have a patent that's called Sensor Vault in both of our combustion analyzers that when you power the tool off, it seals both the oxygen and the CO sensor from the air. Oh, wow. So it's pausing that degradation yeah. of the sensor so, so they last longer. Yeah. So we can have a four year sensor life warranty wow. on those sensors that if they go bad within the first four years, we just send you a new one. Wow, They're completely great. field replaceable. And when you do need to send them back for calibration, you, you don't have to send the whole tool. You can just plop out your sensors, send your sensors back, have those calibrated, and then have them sent back. If you wanted to maximize your uptime, you just have a second set of sensors so that when sure. you send those first ones in, you plug in your second pair and you always have your combustion analyzer to be doing the job for you. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I'm glad you guys are getting into that. Yeah. yeah. And one thing that's pretty cool is we all know that's common on a combustion analyzer is a water trap, okay. right? Because there's water vapor yeah. in the flue, it gets sucked in by the pump, happens. Yeah. and you don't want that moisture getting to your sensors, okay? On the CAT85 model, uh, we have a patent that's called the hydrocycle pump okay. that removes the need of having a water trap altogether. Oh, wow. So the way the hydrocycle works is um, the the pump takes the water vapor from the flue mm -hmm. and it condenses it here okay. in the handle yeah. and it spits it back out into the flue. Really? So that there's no need to store the condensed water anywhere okay. in a trap yeah. and empty it. Hydrocycle pump just does all that for you. So you have another line in there that like yeah. is, that it, oh yeah, wow, look at that. That's some thoughtfulness right there, I love it. Absolutely, so you know, just the, uh, 
people have been chomping at the bit for years. When are you going to come out with a commercial yeah. or fill piece? When are you going to do yeah. this? Yeah. And mainly the thing is, you know, if we can come up with a way to make a tool that's going to make your job easier, faster, or better, or solve some type of problem that you have, we're not going to release one. Right. Well, now we feel pretty confident that we've released new, new technologies that help solve a bunch of problems yeah. in the field. And like I said, lower the over cost of overall cost of ownership because you're replacing sensors less yeah. and maximizing the uptime with using your tool. Wow, that's awesome. I love it. Well, uh, on our end, just thanks for being here and supporting what we do. Like it shows that how much you guys care for the industry as a yeah. whole. And you can see that even in tool development, like you've been talking about, like each little detail that we have problems with, you guys are looking to solve that. And I appreciate that. And then giving back with your knowledge, like we appreciate it. It's been awesome. Thank you. Good to have it's you every year. I hope you're back every time. So I'm just glad people are willing to listen to me. So. Hey, we are. Yep. So guys, check out the new combustion analyzer. Check it out and uh, and uh, show some love back to Field Peace for all they do for our industry. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.